the omniscience of Christ has to be understood within the broad spectrum of New Testament Christology. We always refer back to Philippians, taking the form of a servant, or Hebrews 1, he's temporarily lowered himself. God becomes a man, the person of the Lord Jesus, temporarily subjecting himself to the same human limitations we have. Whether or not Jesus knows now, <clears throat> as God in eternity, the hour of his coming, is a fair question. We may assume he does, but the scripture is silent. Cannot dogmatically say so. What we can say, as a man, although he was God, the privileges of his deity were not available to him. Again, Satan tried to tempt him to use his divine power out of concert with his father. He identified with us subjecting himself, himself to our limitations. As God, he could have known it. Once he became a man subjecting himself to our limitations, that is, once again, the concept of kenosis, theological kenosis theological term he did not know only the father now let's understand why he did not know we've explained this before on various teachings including the vector the vector in the gospels jesus says when the crop permits the lord of the harvest sends the harvesters in this sense although god certainly knows in eternity relative to us in time and space the timing of Christ's coming does not only depend on him it depends on us Peter tells us in his epistle we can hasten his coming we can make Jesus come faster I would use this to highlight the importance of Jewish evangelism and evangelizing Israel you will not go through all the towns and cities of Israel preaching the gospel before he comes Peter says this Matthew 10 says this we can hasten his coming to understand this we go metaphorically to the Hebrew poetry of the Song of Solomon do not awaken my beloved until she pleases as in Matthew 25 the bridegroom comes for the bride in the night but the refrain reiterated continually in poetic metaphor throughout the Song of Solomon, do not awaken my beloved until she pleases. That is to say, we are not waiting for Jesus to come back. He's waiting for the bride to be spotless. He's waiting for the number of the <coughs> elect to be saved. He's waiting for Israel to be evangelized. He's waiting for us. Now, in eternity is the time fixed well, it's certainly fixed in the knowledge of God. But when he was here as a man, Jesus was subject to the same limitations you and I are. He only knew what his Father revealed to him by the Spirit. What he knows now that he's in heaven is another matter that we cannot, with any definite certitude, address. Although it would seem to most Christians who thought about it, and to most theologians, Although he may not have known or did not know when he was here, he certainly may know now. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. God bless. Dear friends, greetings in Jesus. This is your friend Jacob Prash speaking to you at the moment from the UK. You know, so many of the questions we get in our Roku broadcast and on our Vimeo clips and on YouTube deal with subjects that we deal with much more extensively in our books. We can't, for the sake of brevity, uh, go into the kind of depth in a TV broadcast we can actually go into in a book. But so many of the questions come from material that are expounded in the books on a much more broader scale that it's almost frustrating sometimes that we can't spend hours and hours answering a, 
at the questions that, that are given to us. Obviously, practicality dictates that's not a possibility. The books are there. They're available. They're available in print through the Moriel catalog on the Moriel website, moriel.org. But in this day of Kindle and electronic books, they're also available through Amazon and they're available through Kindle. Kindle. The three books that would be the most referred to in the questions we receive are the three latest books. The first being The Dilemma of Laodicea. The Dilemma of Laodicea is an exposition of the seven churches in Revelation, culminating with the final two churches, Philadelphia and Laodicea particularly, setting the stage for the return of Jesus. The Dilemma of Laodicea would be the first. The second would be Shadows of the Beast. Shadows of the Beast. How the coming Antichrist, how his identity will be revealed to the faithful church. The rapture will not happen will not happen, absolutely not happen, until the faithful church knows who the ultimate beast of Revelation is. That is the Antichrist and also the false prophet. How the identity of the coming Antichrist will be revealed to the faithful church, Shadows of the Beast, the second book. And the final and latest one, Harpezo, Harpezo, what the scripture actually teaches about the rapture the snatching away which takes place between the sixth and seventh seals in the book of Revelation. So these three books, The Blum of Laodicea, Shadows of the Beast, and Harpezo, all available on the Morio catalog, all available through Amazon, and all easily available electronically by Kendall. Thank you so much, dear friends. God bless. May Jesus be with you.